In the last video we created a scene and added a button to that scene inside of our stage which is inside of our application. But the button appeared in the top left corner and I'd like to get it out of the top left corner. It might also be nice to have more than just a button in here. So first thing I want to do is move the button <clears throat> and we can change its location by setting the values layout X and layout Y. So I'm just going to put some values in here right now. I'm going to make it 100 and 50. And then we'll go ahead and we will rerun the application so that we can see what that looks like. This is apparently 150. 100 in the X and 50 in the Y. In order to understand this, we have to first know something about graphic coordinates. For historical reasons, graphic coordinates are a little bit different than the math coordinates that you're used to. In math coordinates, you would have an X axis and a Y axis, and the X axis grows going to the right, and the Y axis would grow going up. And you might put the origin, if these were math coordinates, you might put them in the very middle, you could also consider putting them down here in the bottom left corner. In graphics, especially in 2D graphics, the center is pretty much always in the top left corner. And while X still grows to the left, Y grows down. So this button has been moved over 100 pixels. From this corner over to here is 100 pixels. And the layout Y shifted it down 50 pixels because the y-axis grows in the downward direction. If I had made layout y be 100, the button would be located down here. So just a minor thing to get used to. Uh, it's, you might wonder why this is. Largely, it's because the original, quote, graphical displays were actually printouts on pieces of paper. And when you print on paper, the first line's at the top of the page, the second line is the next one, third, fourth, fifth, and so the original y-axis for printing on paper grew down as you went down the paper. Uh, and that has wound up sticking with us in graphics ever since. So that gives me one button and I can put it in a particular location. What if I want to have some other things in here? Well, what are some of the other things that we could add? We'll come back and we'll do like a full uh, list of everything that we can have in here but it turns out the button is inside of this package called uh, scalafx.scene.control which has a number of useful things in it. In addition to the button maybe we want to put in a combo box. This would be a drop down box which we can create with a sequence of items and maybe we also want to have say a list view which gives you a larger list that displays a sequence of items. So let's try creating and adding two of those. So combo box, once again that's a variable name. I could call it anything I want, but I don't really have a meaning for what my combo box is displaying right now. So that will work just fine to call it combo box. I already did an import of everything that's inside of control. And now I could give this a list of some strings, maybe. Uh, how about we go with some programming languages? Scala, Java, C++, Haskell. Okay, that's a reasonable list of programming languages for us to include there. I probably want to move it around. I don't want it in the top left corner, so I'm going to say combo box dot location x equals and the whole thing is 400 across. I'm going to move this over to 200. The location y equals and I'm going to line it up vertically with the button. So it'll be down 50. Now the question is how can I get that into here with the button? And it turns out that when I set content I can set it either to a single node or I can set it to a sequence of nodes. So I can make a list of button and combo box. If we run this, 
Oh, what do I have? Location X. No, oh, it's not location, it's layout X. Sorry about that. Layout X and layout Y. And we run it, and my window should pop up. And there I have a combo box with different items that I can select from it. Now I wanted to add one more thing, and that will be a list view, and maybe I'll put the list view down here below both of those items. Val list view equals a new list view. And maybe on this one I could use the different different graphics libraries and GUI libraries that have been part of the JVM. So AWT is one, Swing is another, Java FX is another, and we'll go ahead and include Scala FX, though it's just a wrapper for, for Java FX, but it happens to be what we're using. And I'll set its location, or its layout, list view dot layout x equals, I think I'll line its edge up with the button, so 100, and list view dot layout y. I'll push it down below both of those, maybe to 150. And then I add that to this list of things that I am setting the content equal to. And when our GUI pops up, there we go. So this is what a list view looks like. This is what a combo box looks like. Uh, 150 actually seems to be rather far. Probably didn't need to go down that far. Just 100 would work well enough for this. Let's see if we like the look of that a little bit better. Well, I definitely do. One thing that you'll note is that this list view actually hangs off the bottom. The default size for the list view is rather large. Maybe I don't want it that large. So we could try to set how big it is. If you're unclear of how to do that, well, here's our list view. And I went for height. You can set a max height, a min height, and a pref height on this. I'm going to go ahead and take the list views pref height and set that. Well, if it starts at 100 and the whole window goes down to 300, I'm going to stop at 50 from the bottom. So how about 250? So that takes it, nope, 150. So the 100 plus the 150 gets me down to 250. So there should be 50 pixels left before the bottom there. We run. And then I get a GUI that looks like this. I'm happy enough with that. We could also set the pref width if we wanted to cut this off so that it didn't use the default value. So now we've seen a GUI that has multiple things added into it. We've used the layout values to position them, and you could set up pretty much anything that you want once you know all the things that we can add inside of here.